I've I, I've got high cholesterol, and my doctor told me that cheese is a thing to avoid if I wanted to reduce my cholesterol. So I tried my best to uh, reduce my cheese intake, but I kept going back for rechecks. So my even though I was eating better, my cholesterol kept going up somehow anyway, which was very frustrating. So now I'm on Lipitor, which means fuck it, I'm gonna have cheese whenever I want because I'm medicated. So whatever. But I have are there are there side stuff. effects to Lipitor? I, I mean, there, I've, there's I've listed. I haven't encountered any yet, thankfully, because a lot of them are things that I already have, like diarrhea, constipation. I can't have muscle deterioration because I don't have muscles, so that's not an issue for me. <laughs> so I'm I'm pretty much good. Yeah, uh, you're back, Noah. What, what 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 did you want to say about Lipitor? I said, I can't believe Sid is on Lipitor. Really? Why? It seems like the most obvious thing for, to yeah. happen to me. You know, it's not It's not that. I guess it's just like it really shows how uh, old, old we are. Okay, yeah. I didn't want to say it like that, but yeah. it's just I'm mature. that I equate with when you get older. To be fair, well, guess though, what? It's in his 40s. <laughs> my old doctor that I saw back when me and Rob lived together. Whenever yeah. I'd go for checkups and stuff, he would always like a week later mail me like my blood work results and he'd circle like the cholesterol and write like, call me, see me. And I would just ignore it because I was like, if it's really bad, he would just call me. He wouldn't send a letter asking me to call him. So this could have been 15 years in the making for all I know. I could have been in my late 20s needing Lipitor if yeah. that oh, existed look, then. There's no one in Darren's background <laughs> for our video. Oh, yeah, there I am. <laughs> That's funny. I said, I, uh, when I went to the doctor, uh, not too long ago, uh, and I, I got like blood work done, my, uh, cholesterol was also like higher than average. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I was asking how I could lower my cholesterol. Uh, cause I just assumed like cholesterol was like grease, but then they kind of like really, uh, really like broke it all down for me. And, I realized like my entire diet is basically cholesterol. So I just want to read this uh, message. Here are the Robert, here are the lifestyle recommendations for lowering cholesterol. Limit your intake of foods that are high in cholesterol. Well, okay, obviously. High cholesterol, saturated fats, and trans fats. Choose lean sources of protein, such as chicken, fish, and legumes. Bone in or <laughs> did not mention bone, bone in. A lot of bone. cholesterol in the bone. Keep the well, the, the good thing there is I don't really eat that much red meat anymore, so yeah. uh, it's not so bad. Eat a wide variety of high fiber foods, f high fiber foods such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. I'm good on that. Mm. Opt for baked, broiled, steamed, grilled, and roasted foods instead of fried foods. Yeah, getting baked is not the same, Rob. <laughs> Avoid fast food and junk food. Mm. Foods that are high in cholesterol, saturated fats, or trans fat include red meat, organ meat, egg yolks, and high fat dairy products. And I realized, oh, dairy, that's like <laughs> the big cornerstone of my diet. Uh, like basically ice cream. I never realized like ice cream had cholesterol. It's, yeah, it's you like think the sweets big... don't have cholesterol. It's yeah. savory foods that you yeah, have. For yeah, for exactly. I for some reason I thought it was like oil based foods, but no. Uh, deep Everything. fried food, processed food made with cocoa butter, palm oil, or coconut oil, deep fried foods, deep fried foods such as potato chips, onion rings, and fried chicken, certain baked goods such as cookies and muffins. God, that's like everything. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like, oh, so everything I can't good. eat anything. Everything good has cholesterol. Yeah, everything good basically has cholesterol. You know what? So, um, how could we not be on Lipitor? You can't. You can't. Uh, uh, like, you can't. It seems intuitive that you can like go to the gym and work out, and your cholesterol will go down. But it doesn't do shit. Like, you have yeah. to stop eating that stuff. Because I like fucking just killed it in the gym for like a year, and my cholesterol at the end of it, I was in great shape, but my cholesterol was just high as shit still. Not high as yeah. shit. Like it was, it was over the normal. So, not a, yeah. Not a that's territory. But. The uh, lead up to this conversation with my doctor was exactly what you're mentioning. Is I, I I did start working out. All my other 
things, all my other like levels, like blood sugar and all that were going down because of working out. But the cholesterol was the, the only thing that remained unchanged at the time. So that's when I was like, all right, well, what do I got to do? But I think I'm doing better now. You, if so, I'm not a medical professional by any means, but I did work at a health food store. And if you, the alternative <laughs> to Lipitor is called red yeast rice. What is red yeast it's, rice? It's, it, it's a pill. You don't eat it, but it helps reduce cholesterol. Oh, it sounds like some acupuncture shit. Is this for real? It's like like a, a real supplement? F- yeah. But I mean, it's like some holistic shit, though, right? It's not like. Yeah, it is. Oh. Is this like, like the stuff Alex Jones, Jones advertises on his show? You got to get the red yeast, people. All right, let's talk about red yeast pills. Here we go. Here we go, people. <laughs> red yeast rice. Red yeast rice. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, Noah. No, my new sidekick had to get rid of the old guy. Anti-establishment. The old guy was a lizard demon. I had to hire Noah. Noah's my new producer. Oh, I get so angry. Well, she did leave serious. Maybe this is where she's gone. This is where you get serious. Let's get serious (laughs) about about the establishment and cholesterol. (laughs) That freaking that cholesterol! I tell you, they're they're pumping it in all our veins. And I'm gonna stop it. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, cholesterol. <laughs> Red yeast rice. <laughs> Dot com. I like red beans and rice. Is that? Red, could I have that? Red beans and rice. Didn't miss my butt. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Alex got back. And that's the episode title. 